Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Crate Yard. Today we're going to make a work of skeleton I found at the Dollar Tree. So you're going to need one of these skeletons. I picked up one of these long signs from the Dollar Tree. You could use a piece of wood. You could use a piece of foam core board if you can't find this little sign. I also have one of these little, um, I kind of like a part of a crate, little wooden sign I got at the Dollar Tree. And again, you could use anything you want. You could use um, a picture frame, but you'll see, and then you can improvise. I picked up these foam pieces I got at the Dollar Tree. I have a pair of scissors, white spray paint, orange paint, white paint, so a little bit of brown paint. I have a couple pieces of ribbon here, little tan ribbons, a couple pumpkin stickers, I have a paintbrush, a pencil, and a couple paint markers. I have an orange one and a black one. I have a little stencil for letters. I'm going to stencil some words on. I have my little pouncer here and my black distressing ink pad. I got this from the Dollar Tree and it came in a three pack and it's a little witch hat. I have a little fork and it came in a big package from the Dollar Tree. You just need one fork. I got this from the Dollar Tree and it's like a um, microfiber cloth and I got it in the automotive section. It's really soft. And I also have a piece of cork sticky paper that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So that's all we're gonna need. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take this white flat spray paint and take him and spray paint him. Let him dry, and then you're gonna take the little crate and you're gonna paint it white with some white flat paint. You could have spray painted it. I went ahead and used some craft paint on this. And then I let that dry completely. I figured out what I wanted to write, and I wanna put, you are the apple, oops, you are the pumpkin to my pie. So I wrote it in pencil. And then I went over top of it with my paint markers. The pumpkin part I drew in with an orange marker. And I went ahead and went over it twice with my orange marker. And then I added my little jack-o'-lantern or my little pumpkin. Okay, so now I'm going to take my um, turkey carver here and I'm going to cut this foam. It's two pieces. I'm going to cut them together and I'm going to cut it into a little pie shape. So you could cut this however big you want to make it. And then I took these and I hot glued them together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint them orange. And it was a little bright, so I went ahead and added some brown paint to my orange and then repainted them a little bit darker color. Now when you're painting styrofoam, it takes a little bit to dry. So I let my um, pumpkin slice here dry overnight. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my skeleton, I cut off the little top of that there, and I took the hat, and there was like a wooden skewer type thing inside there, and I just took it off enough so it would fit on his head. And now I cut his lower arm off, and I hot glued it back on sideways. So going across just like that. And now I'm gonna take my ink distressing pad here, and the black, and I'm just gonna give it a quick little rub onto the, points that kind of stick out a little bit. Oh, his arm fell off, so I just had to re-glue it back on there a little bit. Okay, so now I took my little heart or little pumpkin here and turned it into like his heart, but it's actually a pumpkin sticker. And I hot glued it right there on his chest. So I'm figuring out how I wanna place this. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the hat on. And I go ahead and glue it down just a little bit, the black part there. It's just kind of sticking upwards. 
And I'm going to glue the little sign on. And I'm going to take the little fork. I'm going to take my little ink pad here and distress that fork. It was a little shiny. So I just added a little black distressing ink to it. And I hot glued that right into his hand. So now the first thing I did is I went ahead and just glued his head down where I wanted it first. And then I lift up his leg and I put some behind his knee. And then I put some on the very bottom of his foot on his heel, just on his heel. And I stuck them down to that piece of cardboard sign there. Once it's nice and dry, I went ahead and stuck his arm down with some hot glue. And now I took my ink distressing pad and I went ahead and did the edges on the sign at the top. It just needed a little bit of distressing. Okay, so now I'm back to the little piece of pie and I took this cork sticker stuff and I just laid it, cut a piece out, and then just took the sticker off and laid it right onto it. And then I just trimmed it with a pair of scissors. Now it will make your scissors sticky, so be careful with that. Went ahead and just trimmed it back off. And then I'm gonna cut out another piece and I'm gonna put it on the back side, on the curved part. So again, I just stuck it on there with the sticky part and then I'm just going to trim it with a pair of scissors right where it hangs over the edges. Now I'm deciding which little ribbon I want to use. I'm going to use this little, it's kind of like a little furry ribbon. It has a little tiny wire in it. And I'm just going to put that right along the edge like the pie crust and then just trim up the edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this microfiber cloth. You could use ribbon, you could use yarn. I happen to see this and I like the texture of it. So I just cut out a little section of it. It's probably only about four or five inches long. Rolled it up and then hot glued that end around. And then I'm gonna put hot glue on the bottom and I'm gonna stick it on there and I'm just gonna kind of mash it down just a little bit. So there's our pumpkin pie slice. And now I'm gonna hot glue it right into his hand. I think it turned out super cute. Well, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody.